So we have here the Razer Viper V3 Pro in both the black and the white variant. And in this video, we're going to unbox both of these and give a quick first impression and even compare it with the Logitech G Pro X Superlight 2, which I have been using daily for the past seven months. Stay tuned. So here we have both the black and the white version. And here are, is the box that it comes in. Um, the box is pretty much identical between the two versions. Besides, uh, it says on the white that it's 55 grams and on the black it's 54 grams. I think this one gram of difference is because of the coating. Um, on the white version, they apply a special coating so that makes sure the white version doesn't go yellow over time. And that's where that one gram of difference comes in. Everything else, all the internals should be the same. So we'll first open the black one. Here I have the black one open. The box that comes in is very simple and very slim. Here we have the mouse itself. We'll talk about it later. And we have here the hyper pulling dongle. Uh, so it should come with 8,000 Hertz pulling right out of the box. And let's see what else do we have here. So we have here the braided USB-A to USB-C cable. And here, let's check it out what's in this plastic package. And in this packet, we have the user manual, which we won't need, two razor stickers, and it also comes with overgrips. So the razor overgrips are very nice. I use them on my Razer Viper Mini Signature Edition, and I will make sure to test this out, put this on for the full review, and let you guys know how, how they feel compared to the Viper Mini Signature Edition. So this is everything that comes in the box. It comes with overgrips, stickers, user manual, the mouse itself, hyper pulling dongle, and the USB-C to USB-A cable. And let's now also unbox the white version. Here is the white version. So the white version comes with white internal packaging compared to the black internal packaging with the black version. So that's also something uh, that's different here, as you can see. And here we have the white Viper V3 Pro and also comes with a color matching hyper pulling dongle. So the hyper pulling dongle is white for the white version and black for the black version. And the cable, the braided USB-A to USB-C cable is also color matched to the white version. And let's see here if we have different colored grip tapes for the white version or if the grip tapes are the same black color. So here we have the same stickers and unfortunately the grip tapes that it comes with the white version is still black. So they didn't color match the grip tape unfortunately but that won't be a big deal. I kind of like the panda look with the black grip tape on the white mouse. Make sure you subscribe for the full review. So when that comes out, I'll showcase the white version with the black grip tapes on it. And both of the mouse comes with plastic bottom wraps and let's peel them. And let's put away the cables and just focus on the mouse itself. So here are the two mice, the black and the white version. So first of, first impression, in hand they both feel very smooth, the coating. So the white has the same kind of smooth coating as the black version. I thought they would have different coatings because um, Borzi mentioned that the white had a little chalkier coating than the black version but it looks like in the final production version, as I got these from Amazon, um, both of the coating, coatings are almost identical. And they both feel like the new Razer updated smooth touch coating. And here I will do a quick comparison with the Logitech G Pro X Superlight 2 coating. And I would say these uh, Razer Viper V3 Pro's coating is more grippy than the 
GPX coating. The GPX coating is very slippery, especially when you have sweaty hands. Pretty hard to grip the mouse when you have sweaty hands, but it feels like the Viper V3 Pro coating is a little bit more grippier than the Logitech G Pro X Super Lights coating. And now let's take a look at the bottom skate designs. They got rid of the small skates and started using big top and bottom skates, which I like very much. And they are 100% pure PTFE skates. And in the box, it doesn't come with any extra skates. So these will be the only set of skates that you will have. And if you want to open up the mouse or if you want to replace the uh, feet, you will have to get aftermarket skates. So here I have the Saturn Pro. And these skates feel very nice. I like big skates and here are my G, G Pro X Super Light 2 with aftermarket core pads on. So the core pads are definitely still faster than the stock Razor skates, as you can see. But these skates are also brand new and it takes a little bit of time to break in. So I will see how they break in for the full review video. And now let's talk about the shape, which is the most important part of this mouse because it has a brand new shape compared to the Viper V2 Pro. It has a larger hump and I can definitely feel that hump, especially as I'm gripping it in claw. And it's the mouse is, is pretty big and I wouldn't suggest you to use a fingertip. However, it's still doable. I have 18 by 10 hands and I can still kind of fingertip it, but you'd much better off clawing, even relaxed claw, aggressive claw, or you can even palm the mouse. And here is the shape comparison between the Viper V3 Pro and the G Pro X Super Lite 2. Yeah, here's the shape comparison from the top down. As you can see, the uh, Viper V3 Pro looks a little bit longer than GPX, However, uh, I think the GPX has a little bit of a taller hump. So it is a little bit more filling in hand and it's also a bit more rounded. So in the hand, I would say you can definitely feel the GPX as a little taller, but the Viper V3 Pro is definitely much wider than the G Pro X Super Lite. And right off the bat, you can tell the weight difference because these comes in at 54 and 55 grams respectively. I will weigh the actual copy in my full review video and the Logitech G Pro X Super Lite without the bottom pot comes in at 59 grams. And you can definitely tell those four grams of difference, at least just moving the mouse like this, I can definitely tell that the Viper V3 Pro is, is a lighter mouse than the G Pro X Super Lite. So it feels like the weight is distributed evenly throughout the bottom which makes the mouse also feel a little bit more lighter compared to the GPX which is a little bit center heavy and it makes the mouse feel heavier than it should be compared to the G Pro, uh, compared to the Viper V3 Pro. And first impression the scroll wheel feels very nice. Here's a scroll wheel sound test. and compared to the G Pro X Super Lite. Yeah, the G Pro X Super Lite definitely has a bit scratchier uh, scroll wheel compared to the Viper V3 Pro. And now let's try out the clicks. Yeah, so the Viper V3 Pro definitely have way quieter clicks compared to the G Pro X Super Lite 2. And I quite like it, but I think I still kind of prefer the Super Light 2 clicks because they just feel a little bit more crispier compared to the Viper V3 Pro. So that is it for the unboxing and the first impression video. Um, mainly just wanted to go over what comes in the box and how the shape feels right out of the box. And so far I could definitely say that it feels very nice. And make sure you stay tuned for the full review video. So 
I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing and the first impression of the Razer Viper V3 Pro. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the full review when it comes out. And if you want to purchase this mouse for yourself, I will leave the Amazon link in the description. Make sure to check it out. See you next time. Peace.